The nation's foreign minister wrapped up a visit to Japan. Park Chen said the two sides agreed to review and negotiate to resolve their diplomatic row, namely Tokyo's export curbs against Seoul. Kim Dami shares with us his remarks. South Korea's Foreign Minister Park Jin, arriving back from high-level meetings in Japan on Wednesday, said Seoul and Tokyo are going to continue talks about restoring their sharing of the military information and Japan lifting its restrictions on exports to Korea. Speaking at Seoul's Gimpo Airport, Minister Park said the two countries agreed to address the export restrictions, especially at a time when their global supply chains issues. Those restrictions are what prompted Seoul to allow the General Security Military Information Agreement to lapse. He said he explained what Seoul is trying to do to resolve the forced labor compensation issue. In response to Park's request for meaningful action, he said Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Gishida listened carefully and pledged to keep working with Korea to resolve the matter. Park also told reporters in Tokyo earlier Wednesday that he felt that the Japanese government is willing to respond positively to South Korea's efforts. And during an interview with Japan's NHK News the same day, Park also said that he let Japan know about Korean victims' request to speak directly with related Japanese firms on the issue. Also included in the talks were ways to activate the two countries' people-to-people -people exchanges, which they believe will be helpful in improving bilateral ties as well as the general sentiment between Korean and Japanese people. As for the possibility of resuming visa-free entry in both countries, there was agreement on the need to do so, but no further details were released. Bug also said the same day that he's planning to visit China next month following his recent trips to the U.S. and Japan. Kim Dami, Arirang News.